Did you know that in 2023, Linux containers, yeah, those techie things also called LXC, took up 35% of the containerization market? I mean, they're so popular, if containers were a rock band, LXC would totally be the headliner at Coachella? Today, we're jumping into the wild world of Linux containers and LXC, figuring out how these bad boys are shaking up the way we deploy and manage apps. Kind of like how your morning coffee magically turns you into a functional human on a Monday. But hey, there's one thing about LXC that nobody's talking about, but we'll get to that in the end. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Before we jump into LXC, which by the way, sounds suspiciously like a drug, LSD. But that's a whole different YouTube channel. Let's first break down what Linux containers actually are. Picture this, you've got a set of one or more processes that are totally isolated from everything else in the system. It's kind of like having a super introverted roommate who only comes out of their room when it's time to binge watch Netflix. That's what a Linux container is. It creates a lightweight, portable environment that ensures your application runs the same way, no matter where it goes, so no messy roommates or unexpected surprises. This consistency is a game changer because it solves one of the most annoying problems in software development. It works on my machine, but not in production. With containers, if it runs smoothly on your development machine, it'll work just as well in testing and production. It's like having a foolproof recipe. If you can cook it up perfectly in your kitchen, anyone else can do it too, no matter where they are. All right, now that we've got a handle on what Linux containers are, let's dive into LXC. No, it's not some new age diet or the latest yoga trend that everyone's raving about. LXC is actually a specific implementation of container technology, and it comes with all the tools and APIs you need to create and manage these containers like a pro. Think of LXC as the bedrock of the container universe. It uses core Linux features like namespaces and control groups to set up isolated environments for your apps. It's kind of like giving each of your applications its very own vacation home, complete with a do not disturb sign. Because who wouldn't want a little peace and quiet while running their apps? LXC's power lies in its ability to create efficient isolated environments for applications. This capability stems from several interconnected features that work together like a well-oiled machine or a group of friends trying to decide where to eat. Let's dive into some of the key features of LXC, starting with its resource isolation mechanism. At the heart of LXC is its ability to manage and limit resource usage for each container by leveraging control groups, a nifty feature of the Linux kernel. What does this mean for you? While well, you can run multiple containers on a single host without one of them hogging all the pizza, uh, I mean, resources, it's like having separate apartments in the same building, each with its own utilities quota. No more arguing over who left the lights on or who's stealing all the bandwidth. Building on that solid foundation, LXC cranks up the isolation with something called namespace separation. This feature is like isolation on steroids, providing separate environments for processes, networks, and file systems within each container. Imagine each container as its own tiny world, complete with its own unique view of the system. This way, processes in one container can't mess with those in another, kind of like how you can't hear your neighbor's karaoke night when you're chilling in a soundproof room, peace and quiet guaranteed. But wait, there's more. LXC doesn't just stop at resource isolation and namespace separation. In today's digital world, security is a big deal, and LXC gets that. Enter the concept of unprivileged containers. This feature lets containers run with limited permissions, making it a lot harder for security breaches to cause chaos. Think of it like giving each apartment its own top-notch security system, so even if one gets broken into, the rest are safe and sound. And remember, these features don't work alone. They're like a well-coordinated team. Resource isolation ensures everyone gets a fair share of the system's goodies. Namespace separation gives each app its own clean and quiet workspace, and unprivileged containers add that crucial extra layer of security. Together, they turn LXC into a powerhouse for developers who want to make deploying their apps as smooth as possible, like assembling your very own superhero team, but for your code. Now, let's be real. Containers are awesome, but they're not a security silver bullet. While they do provide a solid level of isolation, there are still some important things you need to keep in mind. First, use trusted container images. Always stick with trusted container images to dodge any unwanted vulnerabilities. Because honestly, who wants a surprise guest crashing the party? Second, implement strong access controls. Make sure you've got strong access controls in place to protect your applications. 
Think of it as having a bouncer at the door. Only the right people get in, no exceptions. Third, configure proper network policies. Set up proper network policies to ensure secure communication between containers. It's kind of like creating a secure chat room where only your best friends can join the conversation. And remember, security isn't a set it and forget it kind of thing. It's more like a relationship that needs constant attention and nurturing. Keep an eye on it and don't let things slide. As you start using more containers, managing them effectively can become challenging. This is where container orchestration comes into play. Tools like Kubernetes help deploy, scale, and manage containerized applications across clusters of hosts, making it easier to handle complex deployments. Think of it as the conductor of an orchestra, ensuring that every container plays its part in harmony. And speaking of orchestration, if you want to dive deeper into Kubernetes and learn how it can make your life easier, and maybe even help you impress your friends at parties, be sure to check out our other video on Kubernetes. It's like the sequel to your favorite movie, more action, more drama, and definitely more containers. In summary, Linux containers and LXC are powerful tools in modern software development. They offer consistency, efficiency, and scalability that traditional deployment methods struggle to match. By understanding and leveraging these technologies, you can streamline your development process, improve application performance, and stay ahead in the fast-paced world of tech. But remember that cliffhanger I mentioned earlier? Here's the shocking fact. Did you know that some experts believe LXC is so efficient that it could actually reduce server costs by up to 50%? That's right, LXC isn't just a tool. It's a potential game changer for your budget. So what do you think about containers and LXC? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.